Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use msconfig to improve your gaming performance on a Windows 7 machine. Many of you have written it in the comments to my other msconfig video and a lot of you were interested in on um, you know which processes and services should you close if you want to improve your gaming performance. So I identified a whole bunch of uh, processes and services that you could disable. Uh, then you simply reboot and uh, your game performance will be improved greatly. What I'm going to do is actually um, take all the instructions and put it on my blog which is homeeditions.blogspot.com and you just look, just search for gaming performance uh, if you can't find the article anymore and uh, I'll list all the processes um, you know if you want to print it out so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you um, you know how to fire up MS config um, and basically disable these processes I'll give you the name of the processes and services and uh, then you can enjoy um, a better performance in your gaming which means improved frame rates and you could also try this uh, performance tip for Windows 7 to uh, improve some of your uh, other programs it doesn't necessarily have to be a game and if there's a certain process that you don't want to disable because you know you need it then obviously do not disable it okay so the first thing you have to do is fire up msconfig so I have a shortcut but you could just click the windows orb and in the search box type in msconfig and it'll pop up and then you just click on it and right now you just see me click on uh, the msconfig icon on my desktop the first thing that we're going to tackle is the processes so as you can see I have about 14 processes listed um, that I identified on my computer that I could shut down you have msconfig up you click on startup and then you click on a startup item to list everything alphabetically. Now, you, you look at the items over here like the Chronos True Image Monitor, un uncheck that. Look for the Apple Push now. Okay, then you uncheck that. Catalyst Control Center Host Application. Find that, uncheck it. Catalyst Control Center Monitoring Program. Find it, uncheck it. CFO Speed Window. Find it, check it. This Noted. If you can find it, uncheck it. DivX Update. Find it, uncheck it. iCloud. Find it, uncheck it. iTunes Helper. Find it, uncheck it. Java Update Scheduler uncheck that monitor for Acronis true image backup archive explorer find that and uncheck it as well system settings protector if you can find that uncheck it ubd.exe if you can find that uncheck that xfast usb uncheck that okay now we have identified the processes that um, you could disable Okay, and since you have a list, you have it saved in this video permanently, you could always put them back if something's not working. So you have those unchecked, you click apply, and the processes part of this video is completely done. Now we're gonna focus on the services. Okay, so <clears throat> I have two columns here. One is for Windows services, the other is for non-Windows services. So now I'll click on services in your MS config and click on service to app to arrange everything in alphabetical order okay I'm just gonna list them off and when I list it basically uncheck it and at the end we will apply these changes so application experience uncheck that application management uncheck that you know this kind of reminds me of uh, you know, I lived in the Northeast for all my life, and when they had school closings, you know, this, this listing kind of reminds me of that. So anyways, uh, Background Intelligent Transfer Service, uncheck that. Certificate Propagation, uncheck that. Computer Browser, uncheck that. Diagnostic Policy Service, uncheck that. Diagnostic Service Host, uncheck that. Distributed Link Tracking Client, uncheck that. Encryption File System, uncheck that function discovery provider host and function discovery provider 
Publication, uncheck that. IP Helper, uncheck that. Offline Files, uncheck that. Peer Name Resolution Protocol, Peer Networking Grouping, Peer Networking Identity Manager, uncheck all three. Print Spooler, again, if you're going to be printing anytime soon, do not uncheck that one because that will interfere. Program Compatibility Assistance Service. Uncheck that. Unless you plan on running a game that uses the compatibility feature in Windows 7. Remote Desktop Configuration. Remote Desktop Services. Remote Desktop Services User Mode Port Redirector. SSDP Discovery. Windows Font Cache Services. Windows Image Acquisition. Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service Win HTTP Web Proxy Auto Discovery Service Okay, so that concludes the standard Windows 7 services that you could uncheck uh, and free up system resources so your computer performance or gaming performance will be increased and now we're going to focus on the non-Windows services Okay, so we have Acronis Scheduler to service, Acronis non-stop backup service, Acronis sync agent service, Adobe Acrobat update service, advanced web ranking scheduler, APC UPS service, Apple mobile device, Bonjour service, CFO speed system service, Cyberlink rich video 64 service, Nitro PDF Reader Driver Creation Reads Full Tool SBSD Security Center Service. So, once again, these are the processes and services that I have identified on my own computer, okay, running my own set of applications and games. And this video just gives you an idea like, if you uncheck all these as I have on my computer and you run your game you should get increased frame rates because your memory will be freed up and your cpu resources will be freed up so i really hope this video has helped you and i hope you know you're really enjoying the performance of uh your gaming rig or maybe you're using this video to create just a gaming rig and you don't need all these additional services and uh, processes so I, once again i hope you enjoy the video go ahead and subscribe to my channel youtube slash home edition and the full instructions, uh, including the names of each service, will be posted on my blog, homeeditions.blogspot.com. Enjoy your gaming, subscribe to my channel, and take care.